guys, I have a ball workout for us today. So go ahead, grab a ball for your prop. As always, I will have the props linked in the description below if you guys need them. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super thanks on my page. Um, let's go ahead, we'll get started on a heavy spring today for arms and abs. I'm going to go one red spring, one blue spring on my reformer. Again, on my balanced body reformer, that is going to be one heavy spring, one medium spring. Feel free if you guys wanna go lighter, you can. We're gonna lie ourselves down to start. All right, now, when we get down, headrests are gonna start all the way down. The balls are gonna start in between our knees. And then when you get the ball in between your knees, I want you to bring your feet on the foot bar, heels on about the width of the ball. And I'm just gonna give my ball a little squeeze to activate my adductors. I'm gonna start in my neutral spine with an inhale. And then on my exhale, I'm gonna start to flatten my low back down into the mat and begin to peel my spine up off the carriage, one vertebrae at a time coming up into a bridge. Take an inhale at the top. And then my exhale, I'm gonna start to roll my spine all the way back down into the mat, thinking one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna inhale in our neutral spine when we get down. Exhale, flatten our low backs down, peel our spines up off the carriage, one vertebrae at a time, take an inhale. And then again on our exhale, we'll slowly roll our spines back down, just getting those glutes and hamstrings to warm up. Now, if you guys do cramp too much in your hamstrings, you can take your feet underneath the wooden platform underneath the foot bar on the wooden platform and that will help with your hamstrings. Let's do two more bridges, exhaling as we flatten and peel, pause at the top for an inhale, again, exhaling as we roll our spines down. Again, I'm keeping a continuous squeeze of that ball the entire time. We're gonna do one more, exhale, flatten and peel, pause at the top for an inhale, and then on our exhale, let's go ahead and roll our spines all the way back down. Now, once we come down, we're gonna pause at the bottom and we're gonna add in with our bridges. So we're gonna flatten our low backs down into the mat one vertebrae at a time, pausing at the top. We're gonna inhale, push our carriage out, keeping a small bend to our knees. And then on our exhale, we're gonna pull in. We're gonna inhale to push away. And then exhale, pull in. Again, keep that little squeeze of your ball the entire time when you push out. We're not going into fully extended legs, just keeping a micro bend to the knees. Push, pull, push, and pull. We're gonna do one more, just trying to get those glutes, hamstrings to fire, pause in, and then we'll roll our spines all the way back down. Now, once we come down, Take that ball underneath your left knee, right foot stays on the foot bar. We're gonna do one unilateral bridge. So let's flatten our low backs down, peel our spines up with that right leg, pause at the top for an inhale. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna push the carriage out and then exhale, pull back. Push, keep a micro bend, pull back in, really feeling that right hamstring engaged here. Inhale out, exhale back. We're gonna go for two, Pull in, and then last one out. In when we come in, slowly roll your spines down, bring it back into your neutral, take the ball so that it's underneath your right knee. Feel free to give that hamstring a quick stretch. Left heel is on the foot bar, one unilateral bridge, so we'll exhale, flatten our low backs down, peel our spines up, hold at the top for an inhale, and then on our next inhale, we're gonna push the carriage out, keep a micro bend to that left knee, Exhale, pull in, inhale, push. And again, exhaling as we pull back in, feeling that hamstring engage. I wanna thank my pelvis is just staying nice and still as I push out and pull in. We're gonna go for two and then last one. Now once we come in, pause, roll your spines all the way back down into the mat and then we are going to take our balls out. Now. When we take the balls out, they are going to go in between our both knees again. I'm gonna reach behind me, grab my short loops into my hands. And then if you guys do want this a little lighter, since we are in a heavier spring today, feel free to use your long loops instead of your short. I'm gonna go a little heavier with my arms. Arms are gonna reach straight up. Knees are in tabletop. I'm gonna bring the feet together. And then on my exhale, I'm gonna press my arms down to the mat for my reach and pull. Inhaling as I return up. Exhaling to pull down, and then inhaling as I return. And then on each exhale, I wanna feel my lats automatically fire. Think engaging my low abs so that two inches underneath my belly button draws in and up to pull. 
inhale, release. We're gonna do two more like that. And then last one, pull down. And then return, now let's add in our curls. So we're gonna exhale, press curl up into our abdominal curls. And then we're gonna inhale, return back down with control. Exhale, nod and curl. And then inhale, return. Now we're gonna add in a little squeeze of the ball. So exhale, press curl and squeeze the ball. Inhale, return back down. Exhale, nod, curl, squeeze. Inhale, return. Exhale, think, draw those low abs in. Return back down. We're gonna go for two more curls. And then last one, nod, curl, squeeze. Return, pause at the bottom. We're gonna go back up into one more curl. So we're gonna exhale, press, curl ourselves up, pause. On our next exhale, we're just gonna squeeze this, the ball in between our knees. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release, stay in that curl. Squeeze, release, sink, reach through those fingers. Let's go for three, draw your low abs in on every squeeze, two. And then last one, squeeze, release, arms up, head down, we'll relax the feet. And then we're gonna take our balls to our ankles next. Then once we get the ball in between our ankles, arms can reach straight up to the ceiling again. Knees are going right back up into our tabletop position. And then we're gonna go back up into ab curls, but with leg extension. So I'm gonna exhale, press curl, extend my legs out away from me, and then inhale, return back down with control. Exhale, press curl and extend. Inhale, return. Think drawing the abs in as we reach the legs out. Exhale, curl, extend. Inhale, return, we're gonna go for two. And then on this last one, let's hold out. Exhale, squeeze the ball, inhale, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release, try to stay in that curl. Think, draw those low abs in on every exhale for two, one. Bend the knees, arms up, head down. Relax the feet, and then we can just give ourselves a little break, a little stretch. Now, ball is gonna stay in between our ankles. Our legs are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling again, or our arms are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling. Knees up into our tabletop position, and then legs go straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna press curl up into our abdominal curls, pause. Inhale, lower the legs down to a challenging level. Exhale, scoop into the low abs to lift. Inhale as we lower, and then exhale, lift. So think again, that two inches underneath your belly button draws into your back as you lift your legs back up. We're gonna go for three, exhale, lift, two, and then last one. Now when we come up, pause, bend the knees, arms up, head down, relax our feet, and then our balls are going to go underneath our sacrums. So I'm gonna lift my hips up, ball goes underneath my sacrum, which is that lowest part of your back above your tailbone, that nice flat spot in your back. Get it in a comfortable spot. And then if you guys don't feel comfortable with the ball here, you can just put it back in between your knees. Arms are up to the ceiling. Knees go right back up into our tabletop position. We wanna think stabilizing from our core. And then on our exhale, we're gonna pull our arms straight down to the mat again. Inhale as we return back up. Exhaling to pull straight down. Inhale, return. Now again, if this is too heavy for you, you guys can always change your springs or you can change your long loops to make it a little lighter. We're gonna do one more like this. Exhale, press. Inhale, return. Now we're gonna add in single leg extension. So I'm gonna press my palms down, reach my right leg out to a challenging level. Inhale, return. Exhale, press, extend the left. Inhale, return. Exhale, out. And inhale, back. Press and extend. Inhale, return, think engaging your obliques as you extend each leg out. Core is active to help stabilize us on the ball. We're gonna do one more with the left leg out and in. Then once we come back, pause, press our arms all the way down to the mat, hold. We're gonna inhale, open our arms out to a T this time. And then on our exhale, press our palms to our hips. Out to a T, and then exhale, palms to hips. Think, draw those abs in. Now let's add in with these. So as we open the arms, reach that right leg back out. As you press your palms, your hips pull in. Left leg as you open. Exhale back in for our double leg stretch. Now, if you would like to challenge your core a little more, you can reach both legs out and pull back in for your double leg stretch. Inhale out, exhale. So you guys can go single legs. You can go double legs. You can just keep your knees and tabletop if that feels best for you. Let's go for two, 
And then last one, now when we press the palms with the hips, hold them there, bend your elbows for your tricep press, let's exhale, press down, inhale, bend, exhale, press, Inhale, bend again, single leg extensions, double leg extensions. You guys can always just keep your knees in tabletop. That is up to you. Think drawing your abs in every exhale. Let's go for four more with your tricep press. Two, and then last one. Now, when we press the arms and legs out, hold the arms and legs long. We're gonna lift the arms and legs up to the ceiling, and then we're gonna exhale, lower them down. Inhale, lift the arms and legs up with control. Exhale, lower the arms and legs down with control. Inhale, lift. My bra line wants to stay anchored as the legs go down. We lift back up. Exhale, lower, draw those abs in, and then inhale, lift. Now, this next time we go down, pause. Just lift the legs up, keep the arms at our sides, Let's inhale now to lower just the legs, and then exhale, scoop into your low abs to lift the legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, scoop into your low abs to lift. Think, reach the fingers. Inhale, lower. Exhale, scoop into the low abs to lift. We're gonna go for two, and lift. Last one down and up. Now, bend your knees. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, open the arms out to the sides room, press them to the hips, and then reach back up to the ceiling for your circles. So now we're circling our arms around and back up. And if we wanna add in our leg extensions, we can do single legs, we can do double legs. That is up to you guys. All right, now the next time we bring our arms up to the ceiling, let's pause and reverse. So we're going down to our hips, opening out to the sides to circle around and back up. Again, if you guys wanna include single leg extensions, double leg extensions with these, that is up to you. Two more. And then last one. All right, now once we come up, pause, relax the feet down, go ahead, hang the straps back up onto the pegs, and then once you guys hang your straps up, lift your hips up, take those balls out. All right, balls are gonna go in between your hands, legs are gonna extend nice and long over the foot bar. We are going to reach our arms straight up to the ceiling, and we're gonna move into some roll-ups now. So I'm gonna take an inhale with my arms nice and long, on my exhale, I'm gonna nod my chin towards my chest, scoop into my abdominals, and roll my spines up. You guys can use your legs on the foot bar to help get you up. Take an inhale at the top, and then on our exhale, we're gonna tuck the pelvis and roll our spines back down. Now, if you have a stiff back, you guys can always hook one leg under the foot bar, one leg over the foot bar, and you can roll up here. That'll help to get you up in those roll-ups. Again, if you do have a stiff back, if you do not, just keep both legs extended over. Let's do two more. Think scooping into our abdominals, peeling up, take an inhale at the top. Exhale, we're tucking the pelvis, rolling our spines back down one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna do one more. Exhale, nod, curl all the way back up. Pause at the top. Now we're gonna take our balls, they're gonna go behind our backs, right on our bra lines. Legs are gonna stay over the foot bars, and then again, get that ball into a comfortable spot. Think right around bra line area. And then once we get it there, we're gonna take our hands behind our head, and we're gonna inhale, fold over our ball into a nice little spinal extension. On our exhale, we're curling up into an abdominal curl, and then inhales, we fold over. Now, the pelvis will move around for this exercise. When we fold over, let it move into that arch spine, that anterior tilt. As we come up, it'll move more into that posterior tilt where we're tucking and the low back almost flattens down. We're gonna go for two more. Exhale to curl. Last one, inhale, fold over. And then exhale, curl back up. Now, once you guys get to the top, I want you to pause. We're gonna add in some single legs the next time we come up. So we're gonna inhale, fold back over our ball. We're gonna exhale, lift our right knee up as we curl up. And then we're gonna inhale, set that leg down as we fold over. Now left leg, exhale, curl, lift the left, and then inhale back over. Exhale, curl and lift, 
and then inhale over. We're gonna go for three. Adjust that ball at any point if you guys need to. Two, and then last one, curl and fold over. All right, now once you guys fold over, I want you to pause for a second. We're gonna add in a rotation now with your knee lifts. So starting with the right leg, we're gonna curl up, lift the right leg, rotate left elbow to our right knee, inhale, we're gonna fold back over, exhale, curl, rotate to the left, and then inhale, fold back over, exhale, curl, rotate, and then inhale back down, getting that rotation coming right from your spine. We want those obliques to fire. Exhale up, inhale, fold back over. Let's go for three more. Two, and then last one. All right, now once we fold over, pause, give your abs a nice stretch, and then you guys are gonna come all the way back up. We're gonna take those balls out. We're gonna sit ourselves off to the sides. And then let's go ahead. I want you guys to keep this one red spring, one heavy spring on. Take off your blue or your medium. We are going to lie on our right sides with the ball underneath our ribs, like baby ribs, then kind of waistline area. And then your right form is going to go into your headrest. Now, when we get here, I want you guys to think, you are not relying on this ball for support. You want to think more of actively lifting your body away from the ball. Grab the strap that's out in front of you. Long loop goes onto your top foot. And then once we get it there, both knees are gonna be bent into 90. Our hips are stacked, our shoulders are stacked. And again, I want you to think you're actively lifting away from the ball. Now we lift our top leg up hip distance. We're gonna exhale, press the top leg out away from us. Inhale to come back in. Exhale, push the leg out. Inhale back. Now when I push my leg out, I'm giving it a little bit of a kick back so that I can activate my glute max a little more right where your glute connects your leg. Exhale, press a little kick, and then inhale as we come back in. Again, think lifting away from the ball. Right shoulder is out of your ear. We're gonna go for two more. And then on our last one, we're gonna hold their leg out away from us. We're externally rotating this time, so our toes or knees point up to the ceiling. Make sure that those hips stay stacked. Bend in in your external rotation, and then exhale to press. Inhale, bend, and then exhaling as we press, bend, and stretch. Working into those more stabilizing muscles in our external rotation. Let's do three more two, and then ready, last one. Now hold this leg out here, internally rotate. So we point our toes or knees down to the floor. When I bend my knee in, I want my foot to stay higher than my knee, and I'm gonna kick my leg up at a slight diagonal. So every time I bend, I want my knees to just barely touch, and then when I press out, I'm lifting my leg up at a slight diagonal. The foot stays higher than the knee the entire time so we can get into that glute min. We're gonna go for two and then last one. All right, relax that leg. We're gonna stay on this side. So ball stays here, adjust it if you guys need to. Hips are still stacked, shoulders are still stacked. Top leg lifts, hip distance. We press our leg out one time, we hold it out here. And then this time we're gonna inhale, kick our leg straight forward. And then on our exhale, we're gonna kick back for front back. So inhale, kick forward. And then exhale, kick that leg back. Think squeeze your glute, keep those hips stacked. Inhale forward, exhale back. We're gonna go for three, two, and then last one, forward and back. Now pause with your leg in line with your body, flex your foot, and I want you guys to lift and lower this leg up and down. The carriage should stay pretty still. The foot is flexed, it's in line with your body. We're lifting, lowering, lifting, lowering, and we still wanna think that this right shoulder is down out of our ear. Four, three, Two, and on this last one, we have to pause with our leg in line with our body. Keep the foot flex. Give me little circles of the leg. Think like dinner plate size circles with this leg. We have three, two, 
one, and then you have to reverse for eight. Keep the foot flex. Right shoulder out of your ear. Three, two, one. Bend your knee, relax that leg. And then we'll take our strap off of our foot. You guys are gonna hang it back up onto the peg. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So, ball can stay. We're on our left side this time. Left forearm should be right into your headrest. Ball, again, is right by like your baby ribs, more towards your waistline. And then I want you guys to grab the strap. Long loop goes on to the top foot, which is your right. And then both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. From here, we're lifting our top leg hip distance. We're gonna exhale, press out. Give it again that little kick back, and then we're bending to come back in. Press away, bend. The leg and the foot should be parallel with the floor for this entire first set until we move into our external rotation. Again, we're exhaling to press out, and then inhaling as we come back in. Exhale, press, and inhale back. Let's go for three, two, and then last one. Now we'll hold our leg out, externally rotate, toes knees point up to the ceiling, hips are still stacked, bend into your external rotation, and then push out. Inhale, bend, exhaling as we push away. Again, working into those smaller, more stabilizing glute muscles, glute med here. Then we're gonna work into our glute min. Make sure your left shoulder is out of your ear. We wanna think we're actively lifting away from the ball. We're gonna do one more press. When we press out, hold internal rotation. Try to keep the foot higher than the knee when we bend our knee in, and then press your leg up at a slight diagonal back. Inhale, bend, exhale, press, bend, press. Again, I want my foot to stay higher than my knee the entire time so I can really work into that internal rotation, work into my glute min. Again, being mindful of that left shoulder. Give me three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna relax that leg for a second. You guys need to give your glute a little massage. You can go ahead and do so. And then we are going to keep both hips stacked. We're lifting our top leg again, hip distance up off the bottom. Push into your left forearm, actively lift away from the ball. Press your right leg out one time, hold. And then we're gonna inhale, kick forward, and exhale, kick back. Inhale forward, and then exhale back. That leg needs to stay lifted in line with your hip the entire time. It does not drop down to the floor. Inhale forward. Exhale, kick back. We're gonna do three. Feel that burn. Two. Woo. Last one. All right, ready? Hold your leg back. Flex your foot. It's in line with your body. We're going up, down, up, down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Again, the foot stays flexed. It stays parallel with the floor. Carriage barely moves. Three, two, one, all right, keep that leg lifted, keep it in line with your body, flex the foot, little circles around, think like dinner plate size circles. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Try, you guys, to keep that left shoulder out of your ear here. Feel that glute min working. Four, three, two, one. Oh, relax that leg. Okay, we are going to take that strap off of your foot and then you're just gonna hang it back up onto the peg. All right, we're gonna sit ourselves off to the sides, set your ball to the sides. We're staying on the same spring. We're gonna kneel on our reformers to start facing our foot bars. Hands are going to be on your foot bar. Feet are going to be right up against your shoulder blocks. And then as always, when you guys have your hands on the foot bar, your thumbs should be with your fingers. We are going to shift our hips forward. Our shoulders are down out of our ears. My chest is reaching through my arms and I'm still holding a neutral spine here so I'm not just like dropping into my low back. Now from here, I'm gonna inhale, push my carriage out with my arms. And then on my exhale, I'm gonna pull back and my hips stay in the same spot the entire time. So I inhale to push out with my arms. 
on my exhale and as I pull in, I'm reaching my chest through my arms as I come in, push out and then exhale, pull in. It can be as far out as you guys would like to go. Push away, reach your chest through the arms as you come in. We're gonna go for two, reach through to come in. Last one, out, chest reaches through your arms to come in. And then once we come all the way in, we're gonna shift our hip back. Now I'm gonna sink my butt back just a little more. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis, do a little round in your low back. And then the toes, you guys should be curled. Those heels should be up onto your shoulder blocks. We're gonna go into knees off, which is very challenging. So shoulders are not over my hands here. Again, I have a nice little tuck in my pelvis. I'm gonna lift my knees a few inches off the carriage. I'm gonna hold, ready? Out with the legs, exhale in, out. And the idea is to tuck the pelvis and keep the knees low when we come in. Push, pull, push, pull. Three, two, tuck the pelvis, last one. And now press all the way out, tuck your pelvis, hike your hips to come in, shift your weight back. Inhale, press the legs out. Exhale, tuck, pike, and come in. Again, my shoulders are not over my hands here. I'm gonna inhale, push. Exhale, tuck, hike to lift. We're gonna go for four more. Scoop into your low abs. Three, two, and then last one. Now when we come in, pause in, walk your feet forward, relax for a second. We're taking our left foot to the wooden platform, right foot steps back to the shoulder block, both legs long, we're lunging first. We're inhaling to press out into a lunge, not a lunge, a split, and then bring it back in, split. Inhale, press out into a split, both legs long, Keep the legs long as you guys come back in. Two more. Inhale out into your splits. Exhale in. And then last one out. And in. Now once we come in, we're lunging. So we're gonna bend our left knee. Our carriage gets pushed back with our right leg. We're gonna hold ourselves here. Both hands stay on your foot bar. Shoulders over your hands. We're gonna pick our left foot up. We're gonna take it to the floor. We're gonna bring it up to the platform, floor, platform. We wanna use our left obliques to lift the leg. Now, if this doesn't work, just keep the foot on the floor, lift and lower from the floor if you can't get to your platform. We're gonna go for three, two, one. Finish with your foot on the platform. Bring your carriage all the way in. Step your right foot a little further forward. Rotate to the right side of the room. And then you guys are gonna have your toes facing forward. We are going to have our feet kind of wider than normal, a little wider than hip distance. And then on our exhale, we're gonna push the carriage out with the legs. And then we're gonna inhale, resist to come back in. Exhale, push away, inhale back. I'm gonna bring my right foot in a little closer. That's gonna make it a little more challenging for our abductor. So we're gonna push out and then resist back in push, and then resist those springs. We're just gonna go for three more. Two, and in, and then last one, push, and resist. Now, when you guys come in, we're gonna rotate, so now we're facing our strap. So I'm gonna rotate, my toes are facing forward. We are going to take our hands onto the shoulder blocks, your right foot or your left foot stays on the wooden platform. We're gonna shift forward, shoulders over my hands. And then my right foot is going to step back to the wooden platform. I'm gonna press my legs out, hold myself here. If you guys would like to be a little higher, you can go onto your foot bar with your toes, either down or up. And then we're gonna push out and in with our arms out, in, out, in. Push the carriage out, pull in. And draw your abs into your back. Two more. And then last one. All right, now if your feet aren't on the wooden platform, take them to the wooden platform. Left foot this time goes on your carriage. Right foot stays on the wooden platform. Rotate you guys to the other side. Again, 
I'm gonna set my feet a little closer than where I was at before. We're gonna exhale to push the carriage out with the legs. Inhale, think, resist, come back in. Exhale, push. Inhale, resist. So just a little abduction of those legs out. Resist the springs to come right back in. Four more. Three. And two. And then last one out and in. Now once we come in, pause. Again, we are going to start to fold forward, take our hands onto the foot bar. This time, you guys, you're keeping your right foot on the wooden platform. You're stepping your left foot back to the shoulder block. The heel is lifted, those toes are curled. Both legs long, we're starting with our split. So we're gonna inhale, press out into a split. Exhale, bring it back in, give those legs a nice little stretch. Inhale, out into your splits. And then exhale, back in. Three more. Two. Maybe noticing a difference in the sides for flexibility. All right, now the next time we come in, we're pausing in. I'm gonna bend my right knee, so I'm pushed out into more of a lunge. My left leg is staying straight. Those heels are still high up onto the shoulder blocks. Now, from here, shoulders over my hands, weight is in my palms. I'm gonna pick my right foot up. I'm gonna go down to the floor, platform, floor, platform. Again, if this doesn't work for you guys, go ahead, just stay on the floor and do a little lift, a little over that leg. When we're lifting and lowering, I want you to feel your right obliques working to bring the leg up and down for three, two, one. Finish with it on the wooden platform and then we're gonna lift the hips up and we're gonna take our left foot forward and our right foot back. All right, we are stepping off to the sides of our reformers. We're gonna change to two outside red springs for your feet and straps. And then once you guys get those two outside red springs on, if you do wanna make it a little heavier, you guys can always add on a light spring with those. I'm gonna stay with my two reds today. We're lying down with our balls again. Balls are going to go back underneath our sacrums. Again, the lowest part of your back is above your tailbone. Reach behind you, grab your long loops, you guys, and then they're gonna go right onto your feet for feet in straps. Adjust the ball so that it's in a comfortable spot. And then my legs are up to the ceiling. My low back can be flat down into the ball. Arms are gonna be at our sides. I do want you guys to keep the tailbone on the ball. On our exhale, we're gonna pull the leg straight down and then we're gonna inhale, hinge and come up. And then do have your head rest down with the ball underneath your sacrum here. Exhaling as we pull down, feel free to go a little lower than normal. And then you guys can inhale, hinge. We're gonna go for two more. And then last one down and up. Now, once we come up, we're gonna pause with our legs straight up to the ceiling. I'm gonna take my hands on the ball, just barely touching it with my fingers so that it doesn't move when we do this exercise. We're going to think our carriage stays nice and still, squeeze our glutes and our hamstrings, and we're gonna roll our spines off the ball, point the toes to the ceiling, keep the carriage still, roll the spine back down. The idea, you guys, is that your feet stay heavy in the strap. So heavy feet, squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings, roll off the ball, the carriage stays still, roll your spines back down onto that ball. Three more, squeeze your glutes to lift, lower yourselves back down, and then we have two, return, and then last one, squeeze those glutes, hamstrings, roll up, roll back down. Now, set your tailbone all the way back down onto the ball, lower your legs down, we're gonna open them wide out to the sides, just a circle, run back up for leg circles. So we're going down, circling around and up for three. Nice big circles, open up those hips, two, and then last one. When we get to the top, pause, reverse those circles. Again, you can allow yourselves to get a little more range of motion with your pelvis on the ball today. Two more. And then last one. 
All right, now once we come up, I want you guys to pause, let your low backs go flat down into that ball. Feel free to give your ropes a little tug to stretch out those hamstrings. All right, then from here, we're gonna take our straps off of our feet. We'll hang them back up onto the pegs and then lift your hips up, take those balls out and just go ahead and just set it to the side. Now, when you guys set your balls to the sides, let's just finish off with a figure four stretch here today. So right ankle to your left knee. You can press your right knee out away from you if that feels good. You can hug your left knee in towards you if that feels better. Just give that right side a stretch here. And then go ahead and switch. Left ankle, right knee. Feel free to hug, push. Again, whatever feels best for your left leg, left glute. All right, then you guys are gonna relax your legs. We're gonna extend our legs one more time over that foot bar. The arms are gonna reach straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna finish off with one roll up. So let's take an inhale. On our exhale, we're gonna nod our chin towards our chest, scoop into our abdominals, peel our spines up off that mat, pause at the top. You guys can set your hands to the side, set your feet off to the sides. You guys are all finished. I hope you enjoyed that workout today. Don't forget like, share, subscribe. Leave me those super thanks.